bet is pissing down rain right now. We're passing through these limestone canyons through the tropical forest. We got some tropical rainfall right now. Ah, oh, Kosamui. I hate to be leaving this little island paradise behind. I've been here five, six days or so, but today I'm heading off to another destination, another place to explore, and I'm taking you with me. I'm going over to Krabi. I'm gonna go to the little town of Ao Nang, taking the ferry, taking the bus, taking the journey, and seeing what's on the other side of Thailand. I'm here on Bo Put Beach, and it's near Bang Rak, and it's just near the Koh Samui Airport. In fact, in high season, you can take a flight from Koh Samui to Krabi. It's only about a 45 minute flight. It's cheap, you don't book too far in advance. In fact, if you hear off in the distance, there's a plane taking off right now. But since it's not high season, not quite yet, we need to go by land, by sea to get there. I paid 1100 Thai baht, around about 27, 28 US dollars, and the bus is coming to pick me up at 10 o'clock. But before the pickup, I gotta return my motorcycle to the motorcycle rental place with the challenge of getting that bag and this backpack there with me. And I can't resist stopping at this lovely place for mm, Perfect. Well, the Honda Click served me well. The motorbike is a 150 motor, good size, perfect for zipping around the island. If you're here in Thailand on these little places like this, I definitely suggest renting a motorbike. It gives you much more freedom. I pay 300 Thai baht a day. That's around 750 a day. $7.50 a day for the freedom and the fun of zipping around on a motorbike. Yes. Now I've arranged for this little mini shuttle bus to take me to the We are leaving from this pier here on the west coast of Koh Samui. It's called Nathan. It's the capital city of Koh Samui. Just got some basics for the ferry trip. Uh, birdie espresso, less sugar, some banana snacks and of course some water. 7-Eleven is always the go-to and they're everywhere in Thailand. There she is, our mighty boat to help us cross the Gulf of Thailand and get us to our destination. She looks in good condition. They're roping her up right now, so soon we'll get on board this thing and jet across the Gulf. Kapunka, bye, bye. I'm gonna miss Kosamui. You think parking a car is difficult? This guy's spinning around this boat 180 degrees within this pier area here. We're at full speed now, flying over the Gulf, heading southwest to the province of Surat Thani. Over that way. It should take about one hour to get there, but with the smooth seas like it is today, the sunshine, the calm weather, we could get there in 45 minutes. I just got a new subscriber, David, who helped me shoot the thumbnail, I hope, for this video here. We'll see it later. And we've landed. Land ho, it's Dunsack. Now we're on this tour bus here, Overland Drive. I bought the tickets as a package deal. You can buy them independently, the ferry and then the bus. But once you get here to the pier, then you'd have to arrange your ticket on the bus. It costs a little bit more to buy the package, but I think it's worth it for the convenience because you know the bus is gonna wait for you if the ferry's late or encounters bad weather, anything like that. The weather is changing a little bit. We're about 30 minutes away from Krabi, our destination, just passing by the thumb. Bak Kolani National Park and it's beautiful. These huge mountains coming out of the landscape. It gives you a moment to relax here in the bus ride. It's not a bad bus ride. You get a look at the landscape out and around. I'm working on a new video edit and soon we'll be there. We left the sunshine of Koh Samui behind, but for sure in Thailand the weather changes every 30 minutes. And after three hours cramped up in the bus, we've arrived humid. Can you see me? The bus ride was enjoyable. Views out the window. Now I need to get. Yes. 
that time. I could just get a taxi right away, but guys, it's 3.30 and I couldn't resist. Before I get a taxi, I had to sit down here and get some food in my belly. The priority is eating. The TV's loud in the background. The cars are buzzing outside, but this is what I needed after a long day. Look at that pad thai with pork. In Thailand, even the most basic places like this, you can't go wrong. Oh, it's so good. The husband, I think, of the cook just brought out some cucumbers here. It's refreshing after you've had some warm pad thai noodles in your belly. Right, we're getting in this. You guys are going down now? Yeah. Great. Here we go. was pretty cool. The lady at the Thai restaurant flagged down one of these song thighs. I'd seen them all over Koh Samui, but that was one of my first times to get on one. It's basically a truck with a cover over the back. About 15 to 17 people can fit in one of these song thighs. But oh, what a beautiful ride to get down here to Annang. Too bad it's pissing down rain right now. We're passing through these limestone canyons through the tropical forest. We got some tropical rainfall right now. I gotta get up to my place. Stick with me when I get there. I'm gonna show you my room and give you all the details of what I'm paying to stay here for three nights. And you'll be surprised. I made it. This is the Pakasai Resort. I tell you, this $1 rain jacket I bought from 7-Eleven a few days ago has been worth its money. There's good news. They've upgraded me to the Delu Deluxe Chalet. Deluxe Chalet. Deluxe Chalet. Hi, friendly. They really know how to welcome guests. The hospitality. They love their tourism, they love the tourism industry, and it's coming back to full swing after COVID. So if you're planning on making Thailand your destination, start thinking ahead. Look at the December, January period. The weather is gonna be great, but be prepared to pay a little bit more in prices. If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna support me making all these travel videos, click the super thanks down below. That'd be much appreciated. And drop some comments down below. Have you ever been to Thailand? What's your favorite spot? And have you ever been to Ao Nang or this area around here? It's raining, but Thailand is still amazing. Look at this place. Whoa, this is massive. And you see right over my shoulders there, it's the million dollar view. This is the chalet room. And if it wasn't raining, you'd be able to see way out there. But out there, it's Viking Cave, Maya Bay, those famous spots that I hope to be exploring in the next days. So what have I paid for all of this? For this bathroom, for this shower, this massive bed, this workstation that I hope to be using to edit some videos, and this stunning view. For three nights at the Pakistan Resort, I paid, drum roll please, I paid 95 US dollars. It's amazing and it makes for a perfect base to get out and explore those places like Riley Beach and out in the waters, all the rocks out there in this part of Thailand. Thank you.